everybody and welcome back. My name is Lynette and I am with the Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us today on another soaping adventure. Today what we're going to be doing is a request we have for a wholesale order. We are going to be using the fragrance Fresh Fallen Leaves. Now don't let this scent deceive you. It doesn't smell like fall like cinnamon and things like that. It's very musky, kind of an earthy smell. So I recommend it for all year and this wholesaler does carry this all year round. This is from Nature's Garden. We will leave a link to this and all of our products that we use in the description box below. Our recipe is in the description box below as well. Also, if you have a minute, please feel free to like and subscribe to these videos and make sure you hit the notification button so that you can know when all of our videos are uploaded. The colors that we're going to be using today are all from Mad Micas, and some of them are some colors I've made up myself. So the first one is Angry Rose, and I don't have that container with me, but we'll leave all the descriptions and links to all of these down below. I actually took a mixture of pumpkin head, like probably two to one and a half, maybe two to one of pumpkin head and black oyster. And I mixed those together and I came up with this really great kind of a, I don't know if you can really see it, it might be too dark, but a kind of a rusty orange color. And the other ones we're going to be doing are, of course, the Angry Rose, which is kind of the dark purplish red color. Then we're going to be using Enchanted Forest by Mad Micas for our green. And then I've decided to kind of forego on the titanium dioxide, and we're going to use Snow White from Mad Micas as our white portion. We'll be splitting off our colors. Our main color is going to be the rust color. And then we're going to be mixing a little bit of white with as long with the green and the pinkish with the angry rose. So into my oils, I have added two tablespoons of kale and clay and two tablespoons of colloidal oats. And I've just been letting that sit in there and kind of soak in and dissolve and to my light water we are going to be doing an aloe vera juice and it's aloe vera juice tessa silk sodium lactate and then my sodium hydroxide so i'm going to give this a quick blast with my stick blender and then we'll go ahead and add the light water <music> 